Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be bringing you this 10 minute drugstore makeup look. I love this just because it is so fast and super lightweight, so it's not gonna feel like super clogged, like clog your pores or clog the skin, but it's still gonna add that coverage. So it is perfect for if you've got a Zoom meeting, got a Zoom date, a Zoom party, anything you need if you just got to run some errands to the grocery store you still look cute even with a mask on decided to make this a drugstore look just because we can't go out unfortunately and shop right now and shipping for things takes a while so the most accessible thing right now is drugstore target rite aid grocery stores you can probably get a good amount of these products if not all of them if you guys are interested in seeing this drugstore 10 minute makeup then just keep on watching not wearing makeup as often as I used to. I just want to do something quick that I did for a Zoom meeting the other day. My face is already primed and my eyebrows are already done. I didn't really, I had an eyebrow product that I had from I think an Ipsy bag, but I don't know if it was a drugstore or not. I'll try and see if I can find it, but anything you have will do. Usually I like using the Maybelline Master Crayon and then just filling it in with some powder. The Wet n Wild brow powder is pretty good. I actually just got that, so. That's what I did for the brows. I'm just gonna put on my foundation, which would be my next step. For a Zoom meeting, or even if I just wanna run quick errands, I really want something light and quick. And so the ColourPop Pretty Fresh is amazing. It's pretty similar, I would say, to the Makeup Forever Reboot, but I think it's better. It has just a little bit more coverage, and it's cheaper, it's like $14, so love this. And I'm just gonna put it all over my face. I've been breaking out so bad trying this new like face washer cleansing product and so far I like it but I also think this is due to stress. A little bit more of a pump just because I want a little bit more coverage even though I know this is not a full coverage foundation by any means and I'm, probably, I'm just gonna take some more concealer anyway. What I usually do, so as you can see, you can still pretty much see everything through my skin, especially this dude right here. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite. This is not drugstore, but I just have not found anything better than this coverage-wise, lightweight at the drugstore or even at Sephora and Ulta. So this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. Love it, holy grail, will forever repurchase. And I have the shade Light Medium. I just put it live on everything that I want to just give a little more coverage to. You can even, if you're really pressed for time, like you just wake up and you're like, this Zoom meeting is starting now. You really don't have time for anything else. Literally just pop on this concealer on like target spot. I love it because it provides such good coverage, but it's still lightweight. And I'm not, it's not like I'm adding a really cakey foundation to my face. It's really just gonna help even me out while still keeping it light. I take my Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer, a really lightweight concealer. I use this pretty much on an everyday basis. Even when I'm going into the office, and I had too much coverage. I would say it's light to medium coverage, but still makes you look alive. So I'm gonna just put this on my face. And it's a little darker, so it's not really gonna highlight my face. It's more peachy, so it's really gonna help cancel out those dark circles. Okay. I'm just gonna also take this on my eyelid just to act as an eye primer and also cancel out those veins we got going on on our eyes. Okay, this is also not a drugstore. Unfortunately, I literally ran out of my drugstore powder and I'm not trying to buy a crazy amount of new things. I'm actually trying to run through my products right now. So thankfully, this is the only powder I have left now. I also ran through my Fenty Beauty, which I love, but this is the Huda Beauty Cake. Cake Bake Cake. It's in the shade Pound Cake. I'm just gonna take that. So far, I like it a lot. I think it really helps with the blurring of everything, but the only thing I'm not a fan of, if you can guess it, because it's in all, most of Huda Beauty products, is the scent. I just don't understand why it's so heavily scented and fragrant. I was really afraid it was gonna make my skin break out and be wild like her foundation did. I was not a fan of the foundation. 
which is crazy because I felt like everyone was like loving it, but I did not. It broke me out more and I was just not a fan. I have a video on it. If you haven't seen that, I will link that up here. So far, this powder hasn't broken me out, which is really good. Now on for powder. So I'm gonna take the Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder in number two. Again, no, this isn't drugstore, but I literally just went through my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Powder. Really love that, so highly recommend that powder. Also the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Powder, really good as well and set my face. And this is a Wet n Wild foundation brush. It's a P70. I love this powder though, just because it really blends away into the skin and is super lightweight, which I love for a lightweight makeup day. Go ahead and take this e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Forever Sun Kiss. The bellow brush, and I'm just going to put this all over my face to bronze. I just miss walking into Old Town Sephora, just to like browse around and to watch things and see all the new makeup coming out or see something in person. I usually don't like to buy things, makeup or clothes, unless I can see them in person and try them. I just prefer it that way. So in Sephora, you can request samples, which is like my favorite thing, especially foundations, save that money and skincare. So I can't wait to do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the little brush, the Nabella brush and go back into my bronzer. I'm gonna put it in the crease of my eye. I'm going with blush and I'm going to take this Physicians Formula blush. It's this like pink one. I usually like going for brighter colors like pinks and corals on natural makeup days just because I feel like it makes me look more awake and like alive. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Especially for a Zoom meeting, like you know, it'll make you look extra perky, like you're ready. Like you have five cups of coffee already at 8 a.m. I'm just gonna take this little brush again, the Bella Collection. It's like a stippling brush and I'm just gonna blend everything. Now for highlighter, one of my fave, the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter. So this is the first one I'm gonna take. Well, especially for summer coming up, this is, this is great. And they're each like $5, so it's crazy. I'm just gonna take this on the tops of my cheeks and kind of blend it in lower like with the blush just because this is a little too dark for my skin. On top of that to kind of blend it better I'm just going to take the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is amazing. This is a perfect natural everyday highlighter. I can't say enough good things about it. It'll work. I don't want to have like that metallic stripe on my skin. I just feel like it's a little too much especially if I'm not all super glammed up. So this is the perfect highlighter and it's a perfect nose highlighter too. It like adds the glow where you want so that you can look gluey and goddessy but without looking super oily. I'm gonna take the NYX liquid liner, the Epic Ink Liner in black. I'm just going to do a small wing. Before I do mascara, I'm gonna spray with this Grace and Stella spray all day. The Milani spray is really good. The Wet n Wild makeup setting spray is also very good. So love those two, highly recommend. I have this, so I'm just gonna use what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows. I haven't used a lot of drugstore brow products besides like Maybelline and NYX. So those are the ones I recommend. So if you have any other good drugstore brow gels, let me know. So now I'm gonna put on mascara. One reason why I like spraying my face with any of my mist before mascara is just because I've had situations where I get those little mascara dots all over my face and I look crazy. So that's why I spray before. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Totally don't need to use a combo like I'm doing. Using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara and also the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara for my bottom lashes. Really trying. I usually do this because I don't want to like do like wrinkles. I notice I like scrunch my eyebrows and my forehead like so much, and I'm trying to stop that. Love this brush one because it's so thin. Look at that. It really gets into every lash like the nook and cranny. Clump. For lips, I just want to do something simple and just wear a gloss. So first, I'm going to take the ColourPop BFF2 lip liner. I take the ColourPop So Juicy Pumping Pumping Gloss, Plumping Gloss in Viser 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 Viser. 
Okay, that is pretty much it. I'm gonna go try and do something cute with my hair and I will be right back. All right, I am back and I just decided to put my hair up because it's looking a little nasty. My hair is at least 50% dry shampoo right now. If my hair wasn't a dingy mess, like if it was down, I would pop in this little thing from Forever 20. <gasps> Actually, that doesn't look hideous. Or does it? I feel like I kind of look like a smurf. You're pretty much ready for that Zoom meeting, a Zoom date. The part about it is it feels super lightweight. It's not gonna clog your skin. It's not gonna feel super congested. It's not gonna feel like a mask throughout the day or that things are sliding everywhere. It's gonna stay put. You're gonna look cute and all professional or if you're on a day super cute but that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed really liked doing a makeup video i feel like it has been so long i've been so heavy on the skincare lately still love skincare but i've just been i've just really missed makeup and leaning into that so if there's any other makeup videos or products you would like me to try out hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me we'll see you guys in my next one bye guys Oh, 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 oh,